apologise in advance if there's weird noises going on. There's actually a big storm happening outside right now, um, which is super duper exciting. Anyway, today I want to talk to you guys about something that's pretty important to me. And it's been really important to me for a long time. And that is, of course, society and stereotypes and how teenage girls feel because of that. Hank Green recently made an absolutely amazing video called What Guys Look For In Girls. But it wasn't your typical tutorial video, shall we say. In this video, Hank talked about how beauty is objective. Different women all over the world do different things to appear beautiful or sexy or appealing. And how beauty is so objective, there aren't any rules that define it, really. And because of this, we as young women and as young men and as everyone shouldn't base our self-worth and our self-esteem on how pretty we are or how attractive we are or how many people want to go out with us. That's not a good and stable thing to base our self-worth on. I felt like this video just really related to me because I find it such a huge issue and something that I deal with on a daily basis. So today I wanted to kind of put my perspective on teen girls and stereotypes and all that kind of stuff because I think it's really important that this gets discussed, that we don't kind of hide its way because it is a major issue. Um, so today, this is my letter, my open letter to society. Dear society, to put it blankly, you're pretty messed up. Countless songs, movies, books, films, artworks have been made in your honour and most of them depict how messed up you really are and how much you mess up other people. But when it comes down to it, I can't really slam you because guess what? I'm society. Everyone is. We all, all 7 billion of us make up society and therefore all of us, yeah, all 7 billion of us are responsible for the damage that it causes. So really, I can't rage you without raging at myself. I can't point out your flaws without pointing out some of mine. I can, however, say what I think needs to change. One of the biggest problems that I have because of youth society that I face on a daily basis is self-image. How I look at myself and how I think others are going to look at me. You, me, all of us. We've cultivated an environment where scrutiny is normal. Where judging someone based on what they're wearing is encouraged. Where people talk themselves out of doing things they really love because they're afraid of what other people are going to think. I, as a teenage girl, am constantly told that I'm not good enough, that I'm not skinny enough, that my eyes aren't big enough, that my teeth aren't straight enough, that my clothes aren't fashionable enough. Unless I look like freaking Miranda Kerr, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough to be loved. Whenever I open my closet, I see rows and stacks of fabric cut to different shapes and sizes. But I also see choices. I see what others would say, what my friends would think, if I wore that dress, if I matched that skirt with those shoes, if I used that bag. I find myself constantly thinking about what others will think of what I'm wearing instead of what I think about what I'm wearing. I find myself less and less concerned with what I think and more and more concerned with what absolute strangers would think. And this is really screwed up. Society, the other week, me and my best friend went for a walk from her house to Woolworths across the road. By the time we had walked through the park, two boys had already decided that we were really strange, not worth even looking at. And an old man thought himself too good or just too normal to reply to my good morning. By the time we had crossed the road, several drivers had thought it was appropriate to honk their horns at us, laughing and sneering at us from behind their steering wheels. By the time we had reached the shopping centre, some little boy decided it was a good idea to roll down his window from a passing car and yell to the entire world that we were freaks. Two days later, my best friend and I went to a different shopping centre. We walked around that place for hours and no one, no one gave us an odd look. People smiled at us, replied to our greetings, apologised when they ran into us and just treated us like decent human beings. They treated us like we were worse. So, do you want to know the difference? Do you want to know what was different from those two shopping trips? Well, we didn't talk in a different manner. We didn't act differently. Everything about us, our personality, our mannerisms, our gestures were exactly the same. No, we 
we changed our clothes. We changed what we were wearing. When we went to the second shopping centre, we just wore normal clothes. I was wearing a skirt and a t-shirt, my friend was wearing jeans and a sweater. And no one gave us a second glance. We blended right in. When we went on our first trip to the first shopping centre, to the Woolworths, we wore our onesies. I wore a dinosaur, she wore an out. And people thought we were stupid. People thought less of us because we were wearing outfits that weren't the norm. Because we weren't fulfilling what people think of when they think of teenage girls. People treated us with less respect, like we were lesser beings, because we weren't feel fulfilling the cultural norm. And this is my main and biggest issue with you society. You're so driven by looks, by appearances, by who smells the best, by who spends the most money on their clothes, that you forget to look at the one thing that's actually important, the person. <laughs> we are so much more than what we clothe our bodies in. For that matter, we're so much more than our bodies full stop. Where the thoughts, the ideas, the ideals, the aspirations, the perspirations, the means and the end, the journey and the destination, we're made up of so much more than what you see at first glance. So please, look a little bit harder, talk a little bit longer, greet a little bit faster. You'll be amazed at what you discover. And obviously, the change starts here. The change starts with me. So I promise you society, I will look past the exterior of a person. I promise to base my opinion of someone on who they are, not what they wear. Sincerely, Bella Rankin. So yeah, there you have it. My thoughts on stereotypes and society and all the crap that comes with that. I highly recommend that you check out the Hank Green video I mentioned before, or Guys and Porn and Girl. I will put it here. It's really great. Um, I really enjoyed it. I found it really relatable. Basically, everything he and John do is just things to live by because they're the great brothers and they're fantastic. And that is all for this mm, bit more <laughs> somber video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, see you guys.